everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video you know guys i think it's been a while since we repainted the big doll head i really love working on them they're really fun to repaint and i've just finished my last big project literally yesterday i finished my praying mantis lady by the way if you missed that video go and check it out it was a really an amazing makeover in a collaboration with one of you with one of my subscribers so i've just finished that huge project and i don't really feel immediately like starting a new one i feel rather like repainting a big doll hat and that's why i went online and i've bought this beautiful Ariel styling doll hat you know strangely enough i really love Ariel but I never made a regular Ariel doll here on my channel. I've repainted a Hasbro Ariel doll, really in the very beginning of my channel, but I didn't really like the sculpt of the doll, and I didn't really like the end result after my makeover, so I wasn't really happy with the doll, because uh, these Ariels from Hasbro, they have very flat faces, they really have like these fish faces, and nothing helped at all. I also like kind of over contoured. No, 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 it wasn't a good one. Then I made an evil Ariel in collaboration with Hexion a couple of years ago. That one was a really good one. Some twisted Disney project. By the way, I should make more twisted Disney characters. What do you think about it? If you have good twisted Disney ideas, let them down in the comments. I mean, like, for example, Ariel, who is a nice character, a good character, make her evil stuff like this or Hexen took Ursula and make her kind so that was Twisted Disney that was a cool doll but it was anyway not an original Ariel so I think I should really make a normal Ariel doll in the future but today we're going to repaint this very cute doll hat I think she looks really adorable she has this huge eyes uh, red hair really an adorable doll so let's try to make her really alive hyper realistic let's try to make this doll looking like she would look in real life and of course guys before we start working i just have to mention it <laughs> please don't forget to subscribe to my channel yes i know this annoying youtube things but i just have to say it uh, please subscribe to my channel check if you're subscribed because youtube sometimes unsubscribes really it can be minus 500 followers on sunday then plus 300 back on monday then again minus 200 so i don't know what is going on maybe youtube is removing some that accounts or something like these non-active accounts i don't know what they're doing but there is something happening with the amount of uh, subscribers because it really can plus minus 500 in, in a couple of days so check if you are subscribed then of course don't forget to support my art here on youtube with your likes and hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos i upload new doll makeovers sometimes every week friday sometimes every second week friday it depends on how big this project is so and this being said let's start the makeover so this doll has a bunch of hair accessories as usually but actually these accessories are not that bad is there C themed the fit with Ariel and I think it all looks good and it all can be used for playing with this doll's hair and she has actually quite good hair I really love her color it might be a little bit darker than Ariel's hair in the movies, but it's a really pretty hair color. And also these beach waves, they look really cute, so it all looks really nice. But we are here for a big makeover, and it means that it's time to take pure acetone and to remove this doll's face.
When the face is gone, I seal the surface with Mr. Super Clear sealant, it will make the face matte and then I can start drawing her new face using soft pastels and watercolor pencils. I probably don't really need to explain what kind of face I'm going for today since everyone knows how Ariel looks. I'm obviously going to draw huge blue eyes and a happy and a little bit mischievous smile. Then she will have a red lipstick and a touch of blush. So this is my plan for today.
Well, the face is kind of finished, I think. Later I will still add false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. But right now I want to work on her top. Ariel wears a seashell top and I want to use this broken seashell for it. I thought I had more of them, not broken ones, but it appears to be the last one in my collection. But anyway, I think it will work. The size is just perfect. So I'm going to start with covering the back of these shells with a layer of UV resin and then I will attach them to the doll's body. This resin will make the shell stronger and I will be able to cut them later with without breaking them into pieces. So this is where I've ended up so far, I don't know, it all looks really natural, very realistic. So let's start painting the shells with acrylics and then I will cover them with a metallic leaf to make these shells super shiny and extra amazing. Well guys, I think the top is finished, so we can move on to her hair. And my biggest concern here is the lack of bangs, because Ariel normally has this very big and tall bangs, and this doll has just regular flat hair. So this will be my main focus today, the bangs. And then I will also recurl her hair a little bit, because her beach waves don't look that fresh anymore after sitting under plastic for almost a week.
So I sprayed it all with the hairspray. Now I will let it set for some hours. And for now I can attach false lashes and add gloss to her eyes and lips. So now I can finish up her hairstyle and after this we'll take a look at the end result pictures. Guys, this is my finished Ariel and you know I think she looks a thousand times better than before. Now she really looks like a real girl. I could perfectly believe that a real life Ariel would look like this if she existed. I just don't really know why the makers of the original doll decided to give her this necklace. I felt really confused. I checked it online, found no necklaces on Ariel's neck on pictures. So I didn't make it and I really don't know why they did. So for the rest, I'm really super happy with this makeover. I think she's one of my cutest big doll hats. There is also Elsa and Anna from Frozen from the same line of doll hats and I think they also have Rapunzel so please let me know if you want to see me repainting the rest of these Disney princess doll hats in the future because I really like working on them so if you like watching them as well it would be really amazing so please guys let me know in the comments. And I've put this doll for sale on eBay, she will be there for 3 days, so please check it out if you are interested, the link is in the description box under this video. So and that was it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed it, and if so please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and I will see you very soon. Don't know yet, maybe next week Friday, maybe in two weeks, because it's gonna be a big project this time and we are actually slowly moving into a spooky season, so I start working into some already Halloween related content. So guys, subscribe, see you soon, it's gonna be fun, have a nice weekend, love you, bye!